Hello, everybody, and welcome this evening. Thank you for joining us on our We Talk Live tonight. Um, tonight is a, kind of an exciting week for everybody in childcare um, with the announcement that Ontario uh, has finally signed on to the Canada Wild Canada wide child care plan. Um, I will take a few minutes just to say that uh, we are excited about uh, the prospect of this plan. The goal is to reduce fees uh, for parents uh, in terms of their child care fees. Um, I will say we're getting a lot of calls from parents and providers as well. Uh, we don't have a lot of details on how the plan is going to roll out and how it's working yet. Uh, we do know that each agency does need to apply. Um, and be approved. Um, at this point, uh, we are sending our intentions to apply um, at the agency level. Um, and as soon as we get more information, we will continue to share it with parents and providers. So be a little patient. I know everybody is excited, um, but as we get information, we will pass it along to you. We're also excited Perfect. that tonight we have uh, two uh, providers with us. These are both WeWatch providers. We have Bev Roberts from Canada. She's up on the top there. Hi, Bev. Thank you for joining us. Hi. And Kashifa Ammer, who is from Hamilton. Hi. Thank Welcome. you. Hi, everybody. And so even before this child care plan was announced, we knew it was kind of going to be happening soon. Um, and part of the reason we wanted to have two providers on the call today um, was really to give some perspective to potential providers who might be considering joining an agency for the first time. Um, some perspective on what it's like to work independently and then work with an agency. And so these two uh, lovely women who are with me tonight both uh, have that in common. They did both work um, independently and now they're working with an agency. So they're going to provide their firsthand experience um, in doing so. So thank you ladies again for joining us. Um, I should say that with the Canada Wild Child Care, Canada Wide, I'm having a hard time <laughs> with that today. <laughs> Canada Wide Child Care Plan, for parents to benefit from the plan, they do need to have their children enrolled in a licensed program. So that could be a licensed daycare center or licensed home child care. Of course, we watch is uh, licensed home child care, so we would qualify for that. Um, and so we do anticipate that some parents may be uh, trying to persuade or shortly will be some of their independent providers to come and join an agency. And so we thought again we'd start with uh, discussing it that with you two uh, women tonight. So Beverly, um, we'll start with you. Okay. Um, I know you have a lot of experience as a child care provider and a varied background. Can you yeah. tell me a little bit about how you started in child care? I was first a nanny for a few years. Once my daughters got a little older, I started nannying and really, really enjoyed it. And then um, one of the children I was nannying moved out of town, not far out of town, but just out. And they asked if they could bring their son in uh, to my house. And I would continue to nanny him at my house, which I did, and I love that too. But then realized it would be so nice to have extra kids because I enjoyed doing it in my own home. And um, his mom and dad were on board with that. And that's how I started my home daycare. Mm -hmm. um, I was private at the time. Yeah. And I really, really loved it. So yeah. that's what I did. Yeah. And then how, when did you or what prompted you to join an agency or start to look at some agencies? Once I heard the $10 a day coming, mm -hmm. I realized I had interviewed a couple of agencies a few years ago. Mm -hmm. um, but I wasn't really happy with what they had to offer. So I thought I would just keep looking and continue to stay private. But then once the $10 a day rumor was out, mm -hmm. I thought it might be prudent to start looking more. And I interviewed WeWatch uh, this year. And then, uh, and so what, did, what was it about WeWatch that you did? Uh, well, like I really like my home visitor. Mm -hmm. uh, I always tell her she's my hero. <laughs> <laughs> she just does things that, you know, just I used to not like to have to do as a private caregiver. Mm -hmm. um, and I like that there's a lot of flexibility and there is a ton of support. And that's the most important thing. Mm -hmm. Because when you're private, you really don't have any support. You have yourself. And you right. think when you join an agency, you're going to have a lot of support. And some of the agencies seem to be lacking that, but that was really, really prominent with 
we watch. And I like that. I like that. So. And do you have any examples of the kind of support you get? Maybe uh, yeah. Example? There was a family that I had uh, that I still have. And uh, with COVID, it's always been really, really hard to tell parents you can't come back tomorrow because you have a runny nose or get tested. And parents don't like to hear that. Right. And when you're private, it's even worse because then they make you feel guilty sometimes, not purposely, but they have a, they have a job to do. Yeah. Um, but I called, I called Pam, my home visitor. And Pam was like, no worries, Bev, I'll take care of that. His mom will know when she gets there that he can't come tomorrow. And I just was, my relief was just, I couldn't believe it because that yeah. I always I never like to disappoint parents. Yeah, it was a big disappointment when they can't when their kids can't come. Right, it is it is one of the the benefits I know that a lot of I'm sure uh, Kishifa you feel the same. Um, yes. I think one exactly. Of the, uh, I was about to say that. Yeah, that's such a relief, honestly. I texted that's her. And I, I told yes. her I said, "You're my hero. You are my hero because yes. that's one of the things I don't like to do." But she, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. She was amazing. Absolutely, yeah. Yep. Yeah, I was going to say, it's one of the, the most common things we do hear from, from providers. It is sometimes hard to have. Some conversations are difficult. Yeah, um, when, and when it is. You, um, it is nice to have someone um, have your back, you know, and yes. be able to have the tough conversations. And then you don't have to worry about your relationship with that parent because that stays the same. And you can continue to watch their children. Um, and you know, we, we'll take care of some of those. The agency yeah. takes care of some of those exactly, more, yes, difficult, yes. more difficult conversations. Yeah, that's I know as well. It, it, I mean, um, this might not be the case for, for either of you, but I know in, in some cases we talk to people who are independent and they have struggles sometimes with parents not paying on time or you know, over not paying over there, time. There is a lot of issues, yes, there is a lot of this kind of issues. Mm -hmm. it's, it's uncomfortable it's really right. uncomfortable and and some private caregivers are great with it they can have that conversation and then go right back and be the caregiver for the children and be animating and i'm not that type of person yeah. i i really love the child care component of what i do and everything that surrounds the children but those kind of conversations i prefer someone else to have yeah, and that is it, it is one of the, a key benefit that uh, someone else someone else has those hard conversations uh, for you, which is it is a, a real big help. Well, thanks, Bev. I'll, I'll come back to you, Bev, because um, uh, that was some some really good information. Um, Kashifa, I, um, I you've been with WeWatch, I think about two years or two and a half years with WeWatch. Yes. Well, and before yeah. that, um, as I mentioned earlier, you had your own private daycare as well. Um, when you were working yes. on your own or with your own uh, your own at your own home with your your own center. What was the biggest challenge for you at, um, of working independently? So the thing when I started my daycare, I like my background is a bit of crafty. Like I used to work in Michaels, so I love doing craft and stuff, with, especially yeah. with younger kids. So um, I had like two kids as private. They both are brothers, like four years and three years, and um, I start taking care of them. And uh, they made me do, they, they, as, as I started working with them, I started loving my job. Honestly, I was not prepared to do a daycare. But as soon as I started working with them, I was like, okay, I, have, I, I can do that. So I started doing my private daycare. The challenges I have was, uh, I faced the challenges basically when the COVID start. It was fine before. Again, what Beverly said, safety issues first, but gladly the parents are understanding. And but the, the conversation again, when it comes to a privately doing with parents, sometimes to make them understand is difficult, honestly. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. when agency took that part over and they make us like, oh, you don't worry about it. Just you are doing your job and this is what you have to do. And we will take care of the rest. That's honestly what the relief words are from agency to us, all the providers, basically. So that was the first thing. The second thing is the paying part. Sometimes privately parents, it's not happened to me, but there is so many private parents. It's difficult for them to continue like the pay part. Agency is taking care of that too. So uh, there is like a lot of benefits to work with agency. So these kind of issues I had when I was doing uh, uh, privately. So mm -hmm. that make me think to join agency and um, I like I start working with agent uh, we watch and I had another agency with me. So basically I work with two agencies plus private. So 
I feel like I have like three year experience, I mean, maybe more than three years. <laughs> so I was like, I, I'm like, I have all kind of people around me. I have agencies supporting me, but I'm honestly very confident now. So agencies to work with agencies and agencies being cooperative with us make our life easy, basically. Yeah. So it's not just we working with agencies. No, no, they have to cooperate with us too, right? When yeah. when we call them or when we we want them, they will be over there to help us. That gave us relief, basically. So yeah, and we watch is one of them. They always stand for us, like, um, and I really appreciate about that too. That's excellent. And so you did mention that you did previously work with um, another agency as yes. well. Um, and so yes. what would you say is the biggest difference that you notice between, you know, WeWatch and that? So, so, so we, we watch is, um, and the other agencies, basically, uh, the, the huge, the biggest difference, safety is not the difference. They are doing the same protocols. Obviously everybody is facing the same protocols of safety when the COVID happened, but the biggest, uh, the biggest difference is we watch always take care of their kids for equipments, for the supplies, for the craft. If they're giving us infant, they give us all the equipments we use for the infant, like cots, like play pens, even the craft every month I do with the kids, the colorings I do with the kids all came from WeWatch. And this is a big chunk of our income goes out, honestly, which they're helping us, which they're supporting us. So, yeah, that's the biggest difference between two, two, these two agencies. And that's the reason my like my points like my back is like more with rewatch than the other agency so yeah that make me think they are better <laughs> okay <laughs> Bev, uh, did you find the same as well i know you said you interviewed a, a number of agencies yeah a lot of them don't offer uh, any yeah they yeah. just don't offer yeah. and they tell you what you have to get True. and they give you a long list but then they don't offer yes. to help you out with that don't so. they don't they don't yes Great. and have yeah. either of you used um backup care i know that's another key benefit that providers yes really like. yes yes amazing. the backup care always yeah amazing yeah. yeah because you know what like um pam i can call her and text her almost any time and you know something happened on a sunday night and my daughter was so sick and i thought oh my gosh i can't have kids here because you know this is going on right. and i called pam and pam was like yeah no problem no problem. I'll call, you know, the parents and it's all taken care same. of. Same. My home visitor. Yeah. Same. My home visitor. She's such a nice lady. Yeah. Margaret. She's such, such a nice lady. Like, Always there to help whenever I text her. Yeah. And she's very good when she come in. She helps me when she basically help means like I do my stuff and she take care of the kids. You know what? Sometimes when you get support, it feels like, oh my God, somebody's yes. supporting me. I was alone before. So that's a good help. So whenever she comes, it was a it was a fresh air breeze. Honestly, oh yeah. So I was like, yeah. okay, I know. Margaret, thank you. I can at least I can do my breakfast now. He said, okay. She said, yeah, do your breakfast. It's okay. <laughs> That's yeah. wonderful. Yeah, yeah. It, is. No, it, can be, it can be an isolating job, and so having the support of a, a home visitor. That you and, can, yes, you that's, true. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. And just exactly. being able to call anytime. And you know what? Always yeah, it's not, easy. You know, it's easy know, accessible. Bad news sometimes, like, oh, you know what? So and so sick, and not having someone on the other end of the line going, oh no. <laughs> Because that's what you get when you're private, right? When you start calling parents, they go, oh, no, what are we going to do? Obviously, they they have to scramble, too. But when you have that, right. you know, that's not it's not a concern. Yeah. It's nice to know you can. Yes, true. Yeah. Take a day. And so um, let me ask you this. Before you joined an agency, did you, maybe you don't, but did you have any kind of myths in your mind or something that you believe to be true about an agency that now that you're part of one? Oh, yeah. Know, yeah. No, I... I Listen, I go to the park all the time, so yeah. I, have, I have heard it all. So <laughs> agencies are, they're going to be at your house all the time. Mm -hmm. You're not going to be able to have animals. You won't be able to go outside with the kids. Mm -hmm. um, you won't be able to use your backyard. <laughs> you won't be able to go to the splash pad. Just, I had heard it all. Right. So, yeah. I so, know that those things are not true. <laughs> they're not true. Yeah. I was uh, honestly speaking, there is so many rumors, uh, Nicole, before I start with Be Watch and other agencies too. There was so many bad rumors, which I proved them wrong. And the people gave me the wrong news. I spoke to them after that. Okay. This is what you told me. And this, is, and this is my personal experience now. Yeah. Like I heard so much that We Watch don't let you have private kids in your house. Don't take their license and blah, blah, 
blah blah. I was like, oh really? I was a bit scared too. But as soon as I start talking them, they gave me ways. Do this, 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 Kashifa. That's the insurance, and this is so you can do that. So there always the resolution. Yeah, there's always a yeah. solution. You just have to talk. You just have yeah. to communicate, and communication is the key basically. Yeah. So communicate, and you get your problem solved. They're accountable. They're like accountable what they're saying. So like the things make easy your life make your job easy yeah this is it so yeah so that's that's what my thing is there is a lot of rumors always for a lot of things but you I have to talk you have to communicate everybody. yeah yeah i heard we had to take every so, child they sent us like a right. yeah and my home visitor she said that's not true if yeah. if you're not yeah exactly it's not, a good, it's not a good feeling or it's not a good relationship let's end it because it's not good for you. Yes, me. exactly. We uh, don't have a pressure. We don't have any no. kind of pressure from our no. agencies that no. no, you have to do this or you have to do that. Honestly, I never felt any pressure. No, I me, never felt no. any pressure. I'm enjoying my job. Honestly. Me too. Me, and it, I'm enjoying it. I'm, so I'm having fun. <laughs> before it and was I'm looking spring. forward to do oh, years yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. Before it was. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What's going to happen today? What if this happens? You know. Yeah. 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 No, it's, it's no. always good. They're not the parents are not a support. You know what I mean? Like I know yes. that they try to be, they try to do what they can, they try to prepare their child, they try to do a lot, but they're it's not yes. the same kind of support. Well, so, excellent yes. to hear that you yes. both sure. are enjoying it so much. Yes, <laughs> you're on every month talking. Yes. Um, and it and it is um, there are a lot of um, myths out there, and so. Uh, as you guys said, I'm glad that you kind of discovered on your own that those myths weren't true. Um, you know, as providers are independent contractors, you have choice, right? You have choice in the hours that you want to work. You have choice in uh, the yes. children, just like the parents can choose the provider they like. You guys have a choice in the children and the family. Same thing. We have a choice, too. We definitely have a choice. We do the interview to see each other. If they like us, they will take. If we do, we like them, then they will, we will take them. So we both, both partners have choices. And like very few of places, you will get a choice. And this is one of them. Yeah, absolutely. So I guess, um, is there any, if there was someone sort of on the fence of joining an agency or finding out more information, um, what advice would you guys give them? Call. I would say call and speak to someone. Because until I called and until, you know, I, I interviewed we watch. I had no idea that I could choose my hours, that I could, because it, when I, when I interviewed the other agencies, that was never an opportunity. I didn't have that opportunity. And that was one thing that I always heard complaints about that, you know, you have to work from this time to this time. And the reason I do home care is so it can be flexible. Right. And, uh, you know, if I'm up at four in the morning and I want to open up at six, I can you know, I don't have somebody saying open up at eight or 10, eight or nine. So I, I say call. Yeah. 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 So that's, that's with me, with both agencies, it's like communication is the key again. So uh, if you're talking over the fence, I already talked to so many people. I have a like bunch of good friends around and I already recommend we watch because of these accountabilities they are giving us, the reliability we can um, do upon us. So, so whoever is around us, I always tell them like, we watch is the agency, we can move forward easily. We can talk to them easily. We can communicate. There is no problems between us and the agency. So mm -hmm. yeah, I would advise uh, everybody positive. Like if I'm positive, my attitude is positive. Obviously I will give positive vibes or positive opinions, right? So yeah. this is how it works. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. So, well, thank you both uh, for sharing your experiences. Um, I, again, uh, I hope that this session provided other providers, uh, potential providers, some insights and some information that they might not have known in the past. I think you guys both said it very well. It all starts with a conversation. Mm -hmm. And so we have 43 agencies across Ontario, There's lots of locations. Um, and, you know, if you want to connect, just connect. It's just a, a phone call or a conversation, um, and you can ask all the questions and find out all the information that you want. Um, and that's where it all with where it all starts. Um, again, you know, yes. lots of change, um, and a lot of the myths that you might ask these two women told me lots of myths. I didn't know were out there. Um, many of the things that you think may be true might not be true, and so we do uh, value the experience of people who 
ran their own or were running their own um, independent daycares. Um, and we value that experience, but we do have a lot to offer in terms of support, you know, as we discussed tonight from programming to administrative support to backup care. So you can take a day off, you know, we offer paid stat holidays, uh, equipment, yes. you know, the list goes on yes. and on. Yeah. Um, and the support yes. and, and uh, the team camaraderie as well. I know that you guys, um, maybe with COVID, not so much, but typically we used to have a lot of meetings where our providers all came together. We've been doing them over yes. Zoom uh, for the past year or so, but there's educational opportunities and lots of opportunities to meet other providers and network as well within your community. So that's also an additional benefit. Um, so thank you yes. to both of you tonight. Um, to any of the parents listening, uh, thank you as well. And if you're interested uh, in contacting WeWatch, you can go to our WeWatch.com, look under locations for your local WeWatch office. Uh, we do have spaces available. So thank you again, ladies. Um, and everybody have a good night. As I said, more information to come on the um, Ontario Child Care Plan. Uh, we will communicate with uh, parents and providers um, as soon as we know more information. So everybody have a, a good night and thank you. Yes, you too. Thank you so much, Nicole. Thank you, Bev. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, thank you everyone. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.